We are now in Theo's room, which he thinks is just the coolest space that he's had, which it is the coolest space that he's had. He, you know, when it comes to kids' rooms and especially boys' rooms, I always try to make it, you know, kid-friendly, but sort of neutral and youthful so it can grow with them. And then I wanted to also add a little personality, but not like too much going on so that it still felt kind of neutral over time. The cabinetry was designed with a lot of intention because I wanted to add a little bit of a masculine touch to it. So I came up with this fun detail, little square cutouts on the bottom and then flat panel on the top with these iron, really interesting kind of like long detailed hardware. I also am always thinking practically, like how are people gonna live in this space? How are we gonna live in this space? So with the hamper here and I wanted the kids' room shoes to like be in their room so they're out of the way. So I created these little drawers for all the shoes. They have a little perforation there so that they can have air and then they vent out of the bottom. We carried this design over to the desk area. He loves to draw and wanna just give him a little space of his own here. So we carried this design over in this little pencil drawer and then also did flat panel over there that has like all of his toys and books and things like that. So everything is tucked away. Then some open shelves, some fun little surf books because we're in California and he's getting totally into surfing and just kind of some fun accessories and some beachy um, type art. But you can see overall, it doesn't feel too kid centric. It has um, a fun appeal, but a little bit more youthful. Then the bed. So we have a fun bed. It's got a boucle and leather. So it gives a little bit more of that masculine feel, but still remains very like airy and um, bright in the room. And then we paired that with some darker uh, bedding. So the bedding has a little bit more of a gray and we kept it simple. I mean, he's not great at making his bed. So I kept it simple with just a handful of pillows um, and a lumbar that has a little pattern. These stools at the end of the bed are a part of our collection and the leg detail is so unique. It's got rounded corners and an open part in the middle, but the kind of you know big sides make it feel a little bit masculine and they're also easy to take around throughout the house and um, use when we have guests over. So I love the versatility of these. Another way to just kind of bring the whole room together is with a rug. Sometimes it's nice in kids' rooms to add a little pattern so it brings some of that play uh, to the space. And so, and here I did this one, it's a subtle pattern. So sure, it's not, it's still neutral, but you have a little bit of, you know, creams and blues and a little bit of browns mixed in there that really brings the room together. Now, let's head into the bathroom. Here, I wanted to still kind of move with that masculine touch so that his felt kind of, you know, bulkier and stronger in his space. So here is a tile that we went with. It is kind of like this terracotta, almost column-like detail. It has so much dimension and you can tell there's like little cracks and bits throughout it and I like that it has that authentic touch. It feels very old world, feels like it was totally, you know, long time ago and meant to be here. And we did this custom vanity, the mirror in the fun light that hangs over from the side. And then the other fun thing is his shower. I decided in here to kind of go old school and instead of doing glass, I went for this high pony wall that has a little rounded detail to it and then it's all in plaster. So it's got a gray plaster, lots of texture, lots of tones. I love the way that all of this design came together in the bedroom and bathroom because it feels really perfect and suitable for a little boy, but also something that can really grow with him over time.